first guest, he put the jack in Will and Grace, and he also co-hosts the number one comedy podcast in the world, Smartless. His new podcast is called Hypochondriactor, which is awesome. Please welcome Sean Hayes! <laughs> I have no, more to go. No. <laughs> Nice. You win for best interest. Thank you. Or interest, yes. Look interest. at how like, gorgeous. Oh, I did nothing. The... I showed up in, in my with PJs the... and my team got a hold of me like Harry Potter. I love yeah. lo <laughs> Do you want me to help you tie that? No. I, okay. She had it tied and I felt like I was going to die. Too, yeah. yeah. I don't know how y'all do that. Too the stuffy. whole suit thing. Yeah. Um, it's nice to have you here in person. It's so nice to yeah. see you. How about you have a show? I know. And it's this doing so, all right. It's doing really well. I know. This is a long way from when we first were hanging at Hollywood Game Night. I think the I first know. time you I did, were, yeah. You were so nice to do I'm that show. I'm very competitive. Sorry. I love it. I, <laughs> I and uh, Kelly was so nice to do. I uh, produced a show called Hollywood Game Night, and you were on I it. I love that I've done it twice. Yeah, I love I it. Know. Um, but how's your puppy? Is he still chewing my everything? My puppy, yes. <laughs> yes, my puppy is chewing everything. His name is Ricky. He's a golden doodle. We call his mouth the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, look at. <laughs> wait a minute. Yes, because I have Henry, a golden yes. doodle that's black. Anyway. Right. Yeah. So, right, I remember this. Yes. And that is nothing how he is now. He's like... A gigantic horse you could put a saddle on and ride down the 101. He, it, look at how big he is. Did they tell, oh my god? Isn't that crazy? And he still thinks he's this big. I'm telling you what, Golden Doodle, look at that face. Movies yeah. should be made because of this face. That You're is, talking about the dog or? Y yes, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, because it ain't happening for the other one. Um, no, I just, I look at that little, oh, Golden Doodle, those little eyes, I love it. Yeah. I saw something though, it's a video, I think we have it. You're sneezing. And you scared the crap out of your dog. I want to show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. my God, that's right. Come on. Sorry. Sorry, that came out so fast. It, it, it was like a combination of broken glass, a scream, and you stepping on his, his foot. Oh, my God. <laughs> I yeah. love that your dog was like, which orifice did that come yeah, from yeah. stepping your butt? Because I guess that's what my toots <laughs> Your toots sound would sound like. like very happy. <laughs> No, but yeah, that was crazy. A, a sneeze like that has never come out of me before. I had no idea why or how. Oh, I sneeze so loud. You do? I mean, is that shocking <laughs> that I do something loud? No, no. <laughs> That's hilarious. Not shocking. Um, no, my poor dog, Henry, he's just like, calm down. Um, is he as big as, as Ricky? Here's is? the thing. Did they lie to you? Because, like, I was told it was going to be 15 to 18 pounds. Like, 45 pounds later... That's what Not I'm saying. 15 to 18 pounds, which yes. actually I like big dogs, so I'm fine with it. That is the kind of like how my weight went before and after COVID, <laughs> right? Because they were like, I don't yeah. think you look great. And I goes, well, I'm going to gain 20 pounds. Yeah, oh my gosh, I keep running these people that lost weight. I'm like, what's happening? I swear to God, I, like th two months ago, I was like, joke's over. I have got to lose. I mean, no, I, I say cute. that, but I don't follow through, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says it. Right, right, right. Yeah, but you don't, you know, follow through. Well, some people <laughs> do, apparently. Um, but I have to ask you this because Joe Biden is now president, and I heard him what? say, "I know it's exciting." Um, but I, I thought heard... it was still out. I thought <laughs> there was no conceding. No, I, no, I didn't no. Think he he so is he president. Won. I was there in the office with him. Okay, great. Yes. Oh, that's right. And I was, and he did say that Will and Grace did more than anything else to shift like how people viewed gay marriage. Yeah. And I never really thought about that, but I think that's absolutely true. Isn't that Especially amazing? Especially reaching on a broad scale, like so many, you're in the homes of, you know, all yeah. across America. I, I mean, look, I got the, when I got the pilot, which is the first episode, yeah. I was 27 years old. Yeah. So just a couple of years ago. But I, um, <laughs> thanks, that took just Me a second. Too. Um, Me too. Me <laughs> too. But um, oh. no, and I was just happy to get a job on a TV show. I had no idea that the byproduct would be something that was bigger than all of us. And then I'm sitting at home on the couch one day. I don't remember. This is when Joe Biden was the vice president. And he said something on uh, MSNBC or I don't know, some show. And he was like, Will and Grace did more to educate America about the gay movement than anything. And I was like, what? 
Like, I think I it's was true, though. Art crazy. does inspire, like, real life. Like, I think um, real life inspires art, I guess, chicken yeah. and egg. But, but yeah, I, I, I think it's absolutely true. I just never thought about it. Also, it's the power it. of comedy. It's uh, mm -hmm. the power of, of comedy is, is the ability to educate people without them knowing it. Because if they're enjoying yeah. you, there's no, you can't, yeah. you can't combat that, yeah, right? They're, I agree. Right. His new podcast is called Hypochondriactor, which is genius. He hosts it with a talented and funny doctor who is joining us now. She's a double board certified physician specializing in internal medicine and obesity medicine. Everybody say hello to Dr. Priyanka Wally. <laughs> when we have more than one guest, I know. it's like, what's up? Hello! <laughs> I was gonna say even one more will be in the parking lot. I know, we've had it, and I'm usually over here, and it's wrapped around, it's funny. Um, how did you two meet? So? Do you wanna, do you so, wanna No, talk? you go, you go. Well, okay, so I met with Hazy Mills Productions, which mm -hmm. um, runs the podcast, and yeah. they pitched this idea about wanting to do a medical podcast that's funny and entertaining. Yeah. And, you know, I practice medicine, but I was also doing stand-up comedy for all these years. Which I'm going to get to in a minute. Yeah, yeah. But just let me interrupt. She's this gorgeous Indian female stand-up comedian right practicing now. board certified <laughs> yeah. doctor. I'm upset. I mean, all those things. You've got great. all the cards. Let's explore that. Kimberly. All the cards. Explore, <laughs> explore it away. I'll, oh, I'm an open book. Um, <laughs> no, that's awesome though. Stand-up. It was so interesting that you also did that. Yeah, totally. But the reason I decided to to do the gig is basically because, you know, there's a lot of medical information out there, mm. a lot of fake news, yeah. and I figure if we're going to educate the public, you know, I want to be involved in this. So yeah. all of the medical stuff that we talk about on the show, actually, I fact check and I make sure we're not doing any fake news because yeah. Lord knows it's Which hard is enough so to see a doctor. important because it's hard to sift through all the BS sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. So tell us about the new podcast. So you. you you yeah. talk about real things that right. happen, but it's also in a funny way. Yeah, so I, I've kind of been obsessed with medical stories always. My favorite part of like a lot of talk shows is when people uh, in the public eye come on and share a story, hopefully that's funny and every, it all worked out. Those are my yeah. favorite kind of stories. And, uh, and, and because of that, like if, if I read or hear of a, a, an issue, a medical issue, I think I, I'm gonna have it. If I haven't had it, like even when COVID started, I'm walking down the street, I'm like, did I just get it from that guy? Like we, I feel like that all the time. Yeah. And so I'm a self uh, diagnosed hypochondriac, yeah. but um, and I, I just too. added actor on the end, hypochondriactor, yeah. and uh, and that's and then we met. We're like, why don't we just do this podcast that's yeah. fun and entertaining and informative, and it connects people in case you think you might have something. It just helps to hear other people talk about it. And if you think you have something, probably you'll be able to be like, it's probably not that. You might be over. You know what I'm right. saying? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Which is probably what you say a lot to him. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> a lot of reassurance. Yeah. 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 Which is fine. Yeah, I yeah. love that. <laughs> right. But what I love about about the podcast as well is like we're talking about everyday ailments right like things like diabetes or anxiety and depression yeah. but we're also exploring it from a very non-traditional angle like we do this episode with Kristen Bell where she talks about her history of depression and how she uses psychedelic mushrooms to work through that wow which I never knew and that's very fast I was like, times at Ridgemont High yeah, yeah. Like, well yeah. different purpose but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that was but, to get a piece so, yeah. a lot of people don't know that there's research out there with psychedelic mushrooms yeah. and mental health issues you know um, well, uh, to you, Dr. Wally, Sean jokes about his hypochondria, like, but it's real. So, um, how do you how do you deal with that as a doctor? Because you don't want to tell people, you know, you're insane. Oh, you no, don't no, have no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I don't do that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, look, my kind of philosophy or the way I approach medicine is, whatever someone's experiencing they know their body. Even though I've studied the books and I've yeah. done the years, you know your body better than anyone else because you're the one living in it. Yeah. And so when someone's coming in and saying, hey, I'm experiencing this pain or I'm feeling this anxiety, it's real to them. Mm -hmm. I love and that. And that's what you taught me too. It's real to the person. It, yeah. And so I, as a physician, have to believe the patient. And I do. Yeah. So whether someone has hypochondria, I mean, I approach it with curiosity. Like, okay, what is this person really experiencing that's yeah. causing them to have this moment where they're feeling all these things? Right, I, I always say, and you can do this or not do this, we don't have to, but just name a part of the body inside or out and I will have a true story about it on me. Well, let's try something then. Okay, Okay. sure. I'm gonna name um, a body part. Sure. And you tell us what's wrong or was wrong at some point. Yeah. 
Okay. Ready? Okay. N name literally anything. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I will have a start. Just, okay. Yeah. Right nostril. Right nostril. You can oh. see it. You see this right here? Wait. What's wrong? You see how the, there's extra skin right there? What? On my right nostril. Do you see? No. So it's not like. Oh, a, it is turned over. Yeah, it's like turnover. So oh. I have. Uh, did the camera Who get that? Who in the <laughs> world <laughs> would notice that? Yeah. Right. So I had a deviated septum, and uh, I went into this doctor. Um, it's actually in the first episode of Hypochondriac, I talk about this. So I went in to get uh, 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 the deviated septum fixed, and I said, while you're down there, I have a bump on my left hand, on the left side of my nose. Do you mind getting a twofer and, you know, doing double, he's like salivating. Yeah, of course I can get it. So I did it a week later, two weeks later, whatever. You take the packing out, right? Yeah. And he had this little fetish of like cleaning out the stuff in my nose. Like the, you have to go back and get all the stuff cleaned out, like the, the mucus, the dried mucus and the blood that gets stuck in there. So he's this little tool and he's like, dit, 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 and he's getting it out and he went bam. And it's like a hit an artery and all this blood came out and I freaked out. Of course. Yeah, right. And he's like, calm down, calm down. You need to calm your heart down. I'm like, you, you calm, calm down, the hell down, right? It's not yeah. your blood, it's my blood. Yeah. He's like, get the ER ready. And I was like, my heart rate is faster than more blood coming. It was all over. It was crazy. But yeah. good thing I'm here and everything. And then he cauterized it and it's fine. You Crazy. do bleed a lot yeah. from your head. I've had an injury in my head as well right here late at night. And I bent down. I was just putting something down, and I hit something really sharp. I bled so much from my head, I was sure I was going to die. Oh, okay? my God. Okay, yeah. big toe. Anything wrong with your big toe? Big toe right now. Well, I have plantar fasciitis. I do, too. You do? Oh, my God. Oh, we, we can't. can't. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> So, we we're almost there. Like, we're almost there. According to the yeah, Biden administration, yes. we're almost there. We're close. So, uh, no, I have. It I sucks. Have, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts really bad. And so now it's creeped into the just the ball of my foot on my right side. I don't know why. So I have a little pad in there right now. Mm, I wear. Hi, I am. I am gelling as well. Like, oh, you are. Commercial. Isn't it crazy? Like you know, I wear things too. Mine is because I performed like for a decade barefoot, and I got all these like problems with my feet. Oh, but wow. you know, it was worth it. I had fun. All right. So anyway, I love this podcast. I think it's brilliant. I Thanks. think what you said is th that's most important is yes it's funny but it is really important that people can go somewhere and get real knowledge that you can trust and believe yeah. in and check out you yeah, know absolutely yeah that's absolutely. really and I think it's hilarious that you also did stand up oh thanks <laughs> while yeah. doing hilarious. this yeah it's isn't amazing. that great oh thank you it's just like where is all the time that you did that okay <laughs> but anyway Sean's podcast smartless and hypochondriac are available anywhere you get your podcast want more fun stuff I thought so check out these videos floating around my head this one is really cool, I'm just saying. No pressure.